Alright, here's another update on the uh, happenings at the uh, Aquaponics Gardener's Greenhouse. Uh, it's been pretty hot out lately. So, uh, get a quick overview of what I've done here in the past several days. As you can see I've actually planted some more um, vegetables, mostly greens and basils and everything seems to be coming back. I had to uh, spray it with some insecticidal soap. I still have a few white flies to, uh, to get rid of. Uh, let's see. I did add these uh, two 55-gallon uh, drums in here as fish tanks. Uh, basically use some one-inch uniseal fittings. For inlet and outlet drains, I've got a uh, T-fitting there uh, with a riser tube that goes to the bottom of the tank to pull out any solids that have settled on the bottom. I actually moved my red tilapia uh, into this tank, and I don't know if you can see them, I can probably feed them here and get them to come up. They've gotten, uh, they've gotten pretty big. Uh, to come up here. Yeah, there they go. Uh, there's quite a few in here. I had originally got 46. Some of those weren't completely red. Um, they did have the red recessive gene. They had red eyes and maybe a red sheen to their uh, to their uh, skin or, or scales, but weren't truly red. So I separated those out and you know, put them in with the general population grays. Uh, I think there's about 20 or 30, between 20 and 30 reds in here. So they didn't come up very well, but anyway, uh, the two broods I had in here have gotten quite large. I actually uh, hooked my blower up in here and ran a new line in. Uh, we were having some oxygen issues in the tanks. So I've come up with these little contraptions. Two air stones for these, but you can see these guys in here. There's probably close to 70 to 100 of these guys. Got fairly big over the past couple of weeks. Swimming around. So that's a big difference in air compared to this guy. Let's put out a little bit more air on that blower compared to my you know, pump up there. But I go ahead and run that anyway, and as I get fry. I use these air stones uh, in my brood trap that I uh, constructed, which I've been using now for a while. I actually have three different ones built. I used, started out with an ice cream part. That's actually a, uh, a one gallon paint strainer that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Come in a pack of two for two or three dollars. Works really, really well. It's a mesh, nylon mesh. So those were the one gallons, and I actually had this bucket in my uh, filter system, and I uh, changed that up a little bit. So it's got holes in it. Basically, you can just sit it down and put some foam on it to keep it, you know, keep it upright so it would float. And then the fry can go in here, and you know, they get plenty of water, oxygen, what have you. So works pretty good uh, for smaller breeds. And for bigger breeds. I did the same thing. I have a five gallon bucket. Basically cut a bunch of holes in it. So they can sit down in the tanks. And I took a five gallon paint strainer. So that's kind of what it looks like. 
and I actually just had about 600 fry in here that I dumped into one of these other tanks I'll show you in a second. Uh, but I actually just take the smaller air stone and I place it in with the fry and it you know, helps oxygenate the water. So, so that's kind of how that works. Plus they're easier to, uh, to get out of these when they're really small. You know, having to catch them when they're you know, fairly big is, uh, can be an issue. So. See here, and actually, I just had all of these fry in that bucket until this morning. Let's see if I can uh, get this out of here so you can see these guys. This one out of the two. Um, oh, there they are. They're like right in front of me. You can see these guys moving. You should be able to see them moving. But they're throughout this whole tank, and I kind of estimated there's probably five to seven hundred of these in here. So I, you know, I went from 50 fish to to a thousand just within a, a few weeks. Actually, I think I've counted up. I've had eight breeds now. So, I've got those guys. Of course, the reds won't be able to breed in, probably until next summer. They won't be large enough. And I added a barrel on this side as well. Uh, Airstone, same setup, T-fitting, uh, riser tube to the bottom. I actually put a... Uh, through hole fitting on the bottom with a uh, ball valve so that I can drain any solids off the bottom if I need to. And this actually drains into this other tank which, you know, drains directly into the filters. And you can see that under there. It's, uh, I have that on both sides. And then these tanks actually drain into this. So it's a, it's a closed loop system basically. So they basically dump into each other. Um, got a little bit too much food here. Same setup. And I've got goldfish in this one still. You see these guys swimming around. Some of these are quite large, about the size of my hand. So they're pretty good size. There's uh, probably 80 to 100 in here. So here I've got. Uh, First two broods of tilapia, there's probably about a hundred food in here. I'm not turning water right now. And I've got all my the original 50 or I think I've got 45 left out of the 50 here in these two tanks. So anyway, I've I've ran this uh, blower inside for this. Puts out quite a bit more oxygen as you can see the, the air stones I've, I've done. And, the, and to weight those down, I've just taken a couple of pieces of PVC and I split them. Split one. And it holds it in place. So that's kind of you know, kind of what we do with that. And I have one in each tank. I think I'm actually going to run this up. This is one inch pipe. I'm going to take this, this fitting off here and extend it out with half inch PVC down uh, in both directions. And uh, come off of each end here to each tank. And then back through here to, those, to the tanks on the other side. I'll do that on each side uh, to give me a little more airflow. And then uh, instead of dropping one of these uh, stones in, I'll probably drop four in each tank. Uh, I think my uh, dissolved oxygen is about two to three milligrams with the heat. Uh, the smaller tanks are staying, or these two tanks are staying at about 86 degrees. I 
think they were 84 this morning. Uh, these other ones actually have gotten up to 90 because of the, uh, the rafts outside. Uh, we've had you know, 100 plus degree days here. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and plant uh, for new seedlings in about a week or two. And uh, hopefully I can get the, the rafts full. So uh, anyway, that's kind of it for now. Mm -hmm.